lastly, I the last movie. Yeah, another yeah. highlight from well, not lastly, lastly, we do have another tiny section after this. But uh Hulk yeah. Shadow of Fire is something that you were really anticipating, so I'm gonna uh let you I saw it twice. Away. <laughs> you did see it twice, yeah. Yeah, maybe why you can tell the people. Um because uh so I watched uh Shadow of Fire or Hokage after Hitman, but it was in the a Wait. theater called yeah. Sala Passanetti. Mm-hmm. And that experience was so horrible because it's like a small theater under the Sala Grande. Like it's like a basement theater. It's like kind of where you put the students in of like closet that don't really matter it's where like, polanski the... was when he when he says he's got to show you something <laughs> uh but nah that that my experience was so horrible of that movie and i kind of due to the whole experience i didn't vibe with the movie even yeah. though i really liked the first 30 minutes so i was like i'm nah i'm going to rewatch this movie again the next day in the sala de Sena. then i also see uh, Tsukamoto in person which yeah. I watched a lot of his films before uh, Venice I watched uh, Tokyo Fist which I really liked mm. but my first movie of his was Killing which I loved so I was like I want to give this movie another chance that's why I didn't watch uh, 56 movies instead of 57 no shame. Uh, that's why I'm... shame so yeah oh, yeah. I know right <laughs> but I really really loved uh, Shadow of Fire or Hokage uh, as you want to say um yeah mm. what did you think about it because you didn't see anything of this director beforehand so no i didn't know your thoughts i first. really wanted to do a bit of preparation going into it we made like a shared list of what we want to watch and got so busy i'm still so busy that's why like this episode is also kind of kind of late uh by the way um that i, d- I didn't I, d- I didn't get to it uh well not not your fault at all it's 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 all on me <laughs> kevin i'm gonna i'm gonna take it uh but yeah um it's great i think i like uh a later part of the film a bit more there's different dynamics that we get to see as main uh, our main kid the the young kid uh tends to uh kind of shuffle into the forefront of the film um we we mainly see the world around him him not really through his his lens at part we do see it through his lens and i feel like that's why the movie is the strongest but it's just like the aftermath in japan and this uh yeah, in, in in this town after World War Two, and it's just completely destroyed. Um, and you just see like a, the, the hardship that uh, is the ongoing trauma that is going to go through generations and is going has been going through generations of hurt. And I feel like it conveys that really powerfully through uh, some captivating eyes of that like young guy who you shouted out as one of the best young performances right after the festival. And um, yeah, he, he's really good. Uh, I'm a sucker for Japanese stories, even if they're tragic. I, I also said this is like the live action grave for the Fireflies. Um, and I quite liked it. It made it into my top 10, I think, of the festival. Yeah, I, I believe like... Even uh, number tops, seven. Uh, yeah, number seven. Yeah, top seven. I was going to say six, but then mm. that's probably where memory uh, twitched in. I do have... But yeah, yeah no, I, I, I really lot. loved... I, I really loved Shadow of Fire. Um, yeah. You know, like as you said, like the hardship that come with it, but you see specifically to a soldier's uh, point of view, you see to yeah. a oh, woman slash prostitute. That was prostitute. my favorite. That was my favorite part of it because it felt it felt so raw. It felt so violent, not just like physically, but also mentally. And yeah, it, it, dude, that just it, it really worked well, and it made me like it, after this, he's the filmmaker. Uh, uh what's his name? Uh, Tsukamoto. Uh, Shinya Tsukamoto, yeah. He's the filmmaker I'm most interested in, like checking out more from, because uh, he he really nailed it. In, I feel like in what it was trying to go for. It's a dev- devastating movie to watch. It's it's too much at times for me. Um, but yeah, uh, certainly worth checking out if you can stomach something quite heavy. Uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely heavy. Uh, and again, like the the movie kind of starts uh, like a room piece. But yeah. uh, though, if you're like hesitant about that, like oh no, yeah, it, it does room, develop. It, uh, yeah. Like it does develop into a, a bigger story. So don't oh, worry about we we that. were saying we were saying that Holly might have the best ending. I feel like this one also has a really strong ending. Oh yeah, yeah, um, true, true, true. Yeah, I mean, just Hokage and Shadow of uh, Hokage with Shadow of Fire and Holly 
both have great performances, child performances, and great endings. So yep. those are really the ones. The, the hidden ones, you're, you're not going to hear anyone talk about a bunch. Uh, no. So, so if so, if you got the chance, because I like uh, I asked like uh, some people uh, if if Hokies would get any releases, and they say like, oh, we haven't heard anything before it. So like, mm -hmm. anyone like, please go watch that movie if you can. And yeah, you know, if it's it, really like it's if really it plays at any other festivals. It does have a theatrical release date for November twenty eighth in Japan, uh, oh, twenty fifth. Okay. Sorry, uh, but yeah, so far I don't think it's getting the boy and the heron yeah. treatment that premiered first in Japan and then worldwide. It's not that type of film, um, but uh, certainly worth seeing as well.